Hey, Dave LaCalle with Head Games Motorworks. Today, we're going to talk about milling cylinder heads and deck services. Check it out. So the problem is when you go to a shop and you're going to get your head milled, you don't know what kind of machine it is. And I know that this is going to be a little hard for you guys to understand because you're not in the machining. But let me tell you that when you get your head milled, it really matters who the place is and what you uh, have to mill it with. Now, there is a couple different types of milling machines. There is old school stuff, which you would find in many old shops, and there's uh, some state-of-the-art stuff that will leave a really great deck surface. Now, we had an RB26 head come in. This is a uh, Tooks cylinder head. Uh, that's from the Street Alpha podcast. And I just wanted to show you, you could tell that this was milled on a brooch, and not only with a brooch, it's a CBN cutter brooch. So a CBN is a carbon nitride boron, I think it is. I don't know, you guys can look it up. Google's a big place. Uh, so you look at the gasket surface and you can actually feel it with your fingernail. And if you can feel it with your fingernail and it has this very dull texture this is not going to be good for an mls gasket an mls gasket really needs something very um, very flat very shiny very nice surface finish and what you have here is a bunch of ridges and these ridges the metal is not going to go into it this is kind of a gasket like for a composite gasket you can tell an old school machine shop probably that does a lot of steel and a lot of steel uh, you can't use a uh, PCD cutter, which is what we use, which is a particle diamond nitride, I think, or no. Again, Google it. PCD cutter uh, is what we use, and you can tell that this was not done on that. And if you can tell the difference here, so on this, on this 2JZ, this polycrystalline diamond cutter, you can see the deck surface that that leaves on aluminum, and and a good mill so you need a decent mill this is not on this is one of our mills and you can tell the deck surface is beautiful you can run your finger across it you don't feel any ridges and you have that nice rainbow finish and that is what you really want to see when you get your head milled so these are the cutters that will cut your cylinder head this is the cbn cutter this is something that we never use uh, we have a big S because this is what you want to use on the steel head. We almost never do steel. I actually don't bring it in, but th this little section here is actually the cutting surface. You can see it there. So there's a little discoloration on that, that little gray part. And that is the cutter itself, and it goes into the mill. And this is the diamond cutter, and you can see it almost looks like the surface finish that it leaves. Where it's very, very shiny. This is the shiny one. This is the diamond cutter. Same thing. It has a very, very small section there for cutting. And this is the one that we use every day. Now, one thing I don't want you guys to get too involved is RA finishes. You can look it up. People want to see an RA finish. And then most shops are not going to have the tester to see if the deck surface does have a certain RA. And Honestly, Head Games has never got involved in that just because we bought one of the baddest mills you can buy and we use a CBN cutter and we run 100 pounds of boost and 400 shot of nitrous through some of this stuff and we just never see a head gasket issue. I think that guys who get involved in that RA finish thing, um, just a little quirky, you know? Like, I, I don't like to dive into um, a number. I think it's a number that you don't really need to know because as you can see, I think you can see it. You can see the difference in a head gasket surface finish that is going to work and which one is not. If it's very dull and that you can feel it with your finger, not going to work it's for an MLS gasket. If you see it nice and shiny and everything looks good, I think you're good to go. To show you guys how this goes into the machine, you see here we have these uh, stack pieces here and this right here is the cutter that, um, that cuts the cylinder head. Now, on the other side, it has a provision for one. We don't use it. We only use a single PCD. You don't have to use two in this machine, thankfully. Uh, I learned actually this from Kenny Duttweiler. Kenny Duttweiler told me he has the same machine, and he only uses one, he uses a PCD, and it has worked flawlessly for us. 
But as you can see, this is the cutting surface on there. And then you start it up and it goes into a milling mode. You should probably also talk about that there's belt sanders out there. I know guys uh, will do something with a belt sander. And although I guess it could sort of work, it's probably better than the brooch uh, approach. But I would still say that the best thing you can do is ask a guy what he's going to mill it with. You don't have to worry about the RA finish. You can just ask them, are you going to mill my head with a PCD or a CBN cutter? If they have a PCD, you're good to go. If they have a CBN, you still might be good to go, but then you want to know, do you have a brooch or do you have a regular mill? Even if they mill it on a bridge port, you're still good because those things actually can put, you can put a PCD, you can put a CBN and it will cut it a lot nicer than uh, a lot of other things. So I just want to show you guys uh, something that's a little different about head games is we have, and I, I know a lot of other shops do uh, as well, but uh, we have what's called a windfield fixture and the windfield fixture makes it so this fixture here, uh, you would put the cylinder head inside of this fixture and it has two straight edges and then you take the straight edges and you're going to put it in a machine like this and this is going to make sure that the head is straight so once we know that the head is straight we still are going to check it with a dial indicator and you check it at your four corners you mill it and then you're good to go for the guys who are going to uh, are mechanics and they're going to hit your head with a wizard wheel this is especially problematic with what I'm talking about here. When you're checking the four corners and if somebody hit a wizard wheel on it, the problem is that none of the deck surface is gonna be the same. And we're trying to be accurate within a thousandths and you can easily remove a thousandths with a wizard. Best thing you can do is to not hit it with any kind of abrasive before you get it milled because then it makes it really hard for us to make sure that the head is straight in the machine. So I think a very important thing about this whole thing, uh, I get a question a lot is what head gasket do I use after you mill it? And I always tell people that the amount of material that we're gonna remove to mill it, if you are worried about piston of valve clearance or compression, uh, if you are gonna have a piston of valve clearance issue before we milled it, then you had that problem anyway because it's such a little amount of material. Let me show you an example. I think everybody can relate to a dollar bill. I know some of you uh, uh, guys overseas might not be able to, but here's a simple Harbor Freight caliper. And you can see, now most of the time we might take off five thousandths of an inch and here is a dollar bill and that's four thousandths of an inch. And we take off one thousandths more than that. So on average, we take off three to five thousandths whenever we mill a cylinder head. Actually, uh, OEM stock cylinder heads take about five thousandths to, or I should say brand new heads, uh, whenever we mill them, they take about five thousandths to make them straight. And you are not going to, uh, if you can see by the, my measurement, if you had piston valve clearance issue before I milled it, you're, you, you had it anyway. There's no way that me milling it is gonna create more of an issue. As far as compression, you, uh, it's usually every seven or five, five to seven thousandths is one cc. Is it really gonna make a difference? No, and compression is your friend. I would not be going to a big, big head gasket because nobody sells one that's only like five thousandths thicker. You're gonna get something that's 20 thousandths thicker and now you're gonna lower your compression and you're gonna kill everything that you're trying to do. All right, guys, that does it for me today. I appreciate all of you. Please like, subscribe. Comment below, I'd love to hear from you. Toodles.